So here's our Jags 4L70E before it even comes off the truck. You will probably immediately notice what I noticed, which is that every visible side has visible damage. That's not good. Okay, here we are. We have the box in a protected area and we're starting to unbox it. I'd like to talk a little bit about why we bought the 4L70E from Jags. Um, two reasons. One is the 4L70E by design is a stronger transmission than a 4L60E or a 4L65E. Of course, you can always buy one of the aftermarket beefed up 4L60Es, and I understand that that's a perfectly good way to go and that those are very stout transmissions. But this transmission from Jags at the time was being offered for a really great price. The price we paid, which includes the use of a discount code, taxes, and shipping was $1,953. That's pretty hard to beat for this caliber of transmission. You hook all this stuff up, you almost might be able to keep up with this. Ha! <laughs> you gonna put that in the video? Yeah, I think so. Oh boy. Now Dylan's getting ready to actually open the box. Um, one of the very first things you're probably going to notice is, hey, even the lid had damage. Why would that be? Oh my goodness. They threw the transmission in the box and put no padding or packaging whatsoever. It's just a transmission in a box. I still to this day find this really hard to believe. Okay, so what we're looking at at this point is there, there were these white stains on the exterior of the transmission. They wiped off with our fingers, so we concluded that they were watermarks, just places where the thing had been washed off maybe and the water had dried. Now I'm looking at the hole in the back of the box. In fact, there's two holes because this transmission moved around and punched holes in the side. Hopefully that red plastic cap prevented any damage. Hard to say for sure. Now we're taking a peek inside the bell housing. This is one of the few places where things look good, naturally, because it's protected. Then we're looking down on the side, seeing that the bottom of the box has some amount of transmission fluid on it, probably a little leakage from when they dyno tested the thing, which they hopefully did. And last but not least, we're gonna look at one more hole in the side of the box put there by the bell housing as the transmission slid around. Thank you very much for watching my video today, and I hope that you found it helpful.